Hey folks, Rex here, North Carolina, Virginia Outdoorsman. Thanks for everybody who supported the channel, who's given me a like, follow, and subscribed. Well, it's been a while since I made y'all a video. I'm starting to get back in the swing of things, getting ready to do a hunt tomorrow night as well. Horse rider. Here, rider back here, he's still excited for it. But today, I'm just going to make a little short one for you. Um, some of y'all know I've been working the bench shows pretty hard here lately. I've been trying to champion rider before I make him a night champion. He's had four shows out so far, good shows in each one of them, gained points for both best of breed, best of class, and the last two back-to-back -back he won, he got a best in show, and he won the regional qualifier over Carroll County. So, I'm just going to give y'all a little uh, overview of what I do when I put him on the show bench, kind of give you an idea of what they look for, and by no means at all am I professional. So, hope you enjoyed the video, folks. The old rider there, he's raring to go. There's old man scaring his dad. But these wonderful dogs came from Wilson's Black and Tans up in Elk Creek, Virginia. When you're in the market for a black and tan, he's the man to see. Contact me Ryan Wilson or Sarah Wilson, Wilson's Black and Tans. Ryder, come on. Good boy. Come here. Come on. Oh, you little chunk. All right, folks. So one of the first things that they look for in the dog when they put them on the bench Easy, buddy. You're okay. It does not matter what breed it is. They all have a standard that they adhere to, whether it be the posture, their feet, uh, the form. They also check their teeth, make sure there's an overbite or underbite, which is the, up to the standard. Basically, what I do with Ryder, I got him comfortable on this old rickety old homemade table, so he has no problem bouncing on the bench up there to show. One of the best things to do. Take your hand, center of the chest, set it down where its feet's level for what they look for. They look for the feet to be more up on the toes than on the full pad. They don't like a flat-footed dog, with the judge. So I've seen plenty of them one just because of the toes. So once his front legs are set, I'll go up underneath his rear end, do the same with his hind legs, get them stretched back for the standard. And another thing too, they're back. They don't like it when they sag too much. Right or here, he had a little habit about that, so. Quick bump on the belly, straighten that back up, tail up, head out, and boom. That's basically it. But four shows, under a year old, he's already got the best in show and the regional qualifier win. So we're going to keep trucking, try and get that 100 points, and make him a show champion. Then next step, put him out in the timber and make him a night champion. This dog's got a lot of potential, and I'm going to do everything within my power to see him reach it. Good boy, Ryder. All right, coming out to you. And as always, like, share, subscribe. I appreciate everybody that follows the channel and stay tuned for the next one. Hope you guys enjoy.